I was working out a couple of weeks ago and my left knee started hurting a lot. So I went to see the doctor who took some uh, x-ray and stuff and finally it uh, kine therapeut which is uh, like a chiropractor I think told me that my left knee is weaker than my right knee. He gave me a plan for the next month to improve the strength in my left knee. The first part of the plan is to run in a specific way. Saturday morning the first thing <laughs> after a coffee is to get to the training that he was talking about. I thought it was going to be easy the first day. I used to run better before. Should not have taken that big break. And by the way, there's a little gym kind of thing. It's not as intensive as CrossFit. I think I'd be... And this guy has been just gunning it. He's been just, you know, to and fro pacing over here. He's not stopped. He's been running straight. I think what I struggle with is to run straight without stopping for four straight minutes at one speed. Of course, in Paris, it's difficult also because of the hills going up and the hills coming down. My left eye waters a lot. I keep wiping it off. The few times I do step out for a run, I journal it in an RC. Having data is always a good idea. The effort I feel I put in, the pace that the app measured and my comments on how I feel after the run. I've changed three phones since 2019, but it's all neatly available. And this is a random run from 2019. I have this pain for a reason and the doc gave me exercises to do after the run. I did a trial of these exercises in the clinic and every inch of me was sweating, swinging the old kettlebell over a step which serves as a decent platform. I was also quite mesmerized by this red carpet when I came to visit this house for the first time. One large glass of water and it's time to go get some shrimp. I saw a brunch menu and I want to make some shrimp from the menu. Today I'm listening to Les Pieds sur Terre by France Culture. Hearing comprehension is quite a challenge in French and I'm getting better by the day. I don't have to read descriptions anymore and I've successfully reached level 7 of my listening framework. This is at 20 times speed and my tripod took its time to fall like a sad sunflower. Cleaning shrimp is not a quick task and I'm already second guessing my choice to make brunch instead of going out to a brunch place. There's also a good serving of mashed avocado and tomatoes that will go well on a toast and I haven't yet had coffee at about 11 and I'm getting rather impatient. Après la dépense, la récompense. What do you think? <laughs> it's a calm Saturday in Paris and I'm visiting a friend in the Parisian suburbs for his birthday. It's a surprise birthday and his mom planned a rad party. She also invited this magician that blew my mind. Check out this magic trick where he gets off the watch from this girl's hand in one swift motion. <laughs> Tu ralentis le groupe, tu ralentis le groupe. Montre à tout le monde que la, que la pièce est là. Ferme la main. Super. Est-ce que tu seras impressionné si la pièce disparaît de cette main pour arriver dans l'autre main Ben oui. Très fort. Ben oui. Très bien. D'accord. C'est pas du tout ce qu'on va faire, mais je me renseigne. Euh, je vais essayer de faire ça. Attends. Un, deux, trois. Tu as senti quelque chose Non. On va faire aussi. Mets les mains derrière le dos. On va faire un jeu. Prends le temps de mélanger la pièce dans une des mains, d'accord On va faire un jeu en trois mains, ok Très rapide avec du rythme, d'accord Si tu gagnes, j'ai une petite surprise pour toi de la part de tout le monde, ok C'est bon, ok On va le mettre en Iman, super. Tu prends le temps de mélanger la pièce dans une des mains, et quand tu veux, tu reviens avec les mains devant moi, ok Regarde moi. Croise les mains. On a tendance à le croiser naturellement parce qu'il est en dessous. Ouvre la main qui est juste ici, à gauche. Ouais. 1-0 pour moi. Fais les mains derrière. Remets, remets dans le coup. Reviens. Rapidement. La deuxième fois, les cheveux dans la même main. Donc, la main gauche. Et ouvrir la con. Fais les mains derrière. <rire> Un partout. Là, c'est décisif. décisive. Hein. Reviens. Ah putain, 2-1 pour toi, t'as gagné. Qu'est-ce que tu veux Une petite surprise ou la case de 2 euros Une surprise <rire> Rewind to watch the point when he pulled it out. I could see it, but it's amazing that she couldn't feel it. Cool. Allez, applaudissez la bien. Joyeux anniversaire. I have almost 30 minutes of footage of his magic tricks, but 
cutting them down translating them subtitling them and voice overing them is going to take me all night so i'm going to keep that for another day any diamonds dangling i don't want no problem because we professionals <laughs> Alors, qu'est-ce que tu en penses? Tu valides ou pas? <rire> Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup d'être venu. Merci beaucoup pour tout, pour, pour cette journée. Merci beaucoup à maman qui, qui, a, qui a organisé tout ça. Merci à papa, merci à vous tous, toutes vos attentions. Ça me touche beaucoup que, que vous soyez tous là. Et toutes vos attentions. Et je vous aime. J'ai quand même vraiment kiné pour la vidéo. Do you guys remember Valérie? She was in the previous vlog. She sent me a letter. That's really nice. How many pol local politicians have sent you a letter? Can I, if I can vote for Valérie? I, it's not a joke. It sounds like I'm making... No. I feel so included. I really want to vote for Valérie. It's a little too late that the mayor regional ele elections are over. I hope Valérie wins. Yeah, I hope she's not really far right. Like... A little quicker. Yeah, I hope you're fine, Val Valérie. Thank you for the letter. There is a course, a French course by Ecole Française. So from the taxes that we pay every year, up to 500 euros can be added into a course and every course has a little budget. Um, and I was looking at this one called Excelé à l'oral and I'm really interested in taking it because I think I can improve my French spoken in public. I still feel that I miss a couple of expressions. I, I miss a couple of tournures des phrases that I can, that I do well in English but I don't master in French, you know? So I had to look at their course contents. They have a list of things that they're going to talk about. And it's it sounds so professional. They're talking about annotating better, using pause for dramatic effect, breathing at the right times for emphasis and stuff like that, which is so foreign to me and my level of French right now. So it's a very ambitious goal to want to study this because this is meant for French people who already speak flawless French but want to improve oratory skill to polish up that little uh, stage presence for a new job or something like that. So I'm hesitating, but I really want to do it. So I just thought I'd share it with you guys. They propose to start in the month of September for me with a couple of uh, colleagues. So I'll have some classmates. How do I do it without hating it? <laughs> because if I hate it, then I probably may never come back to it later. If you want to do, uh, it feels like a little uh, heavy to do a Dutch farm during a month, which is in August. It's unbelievable that it's four weeks away. And I sound like this amazing language learning dude who knows everything and super motivated and uh, works his back off and, you know, just has results behind results. But I made that Hindi video a couple of months ago that I have three months left before I go to the Dutch farm. And honestly, in this time, I haven't really worked very hard on my Dutch. I have a little things in my mind, but I was saying that level zero would be to just do Rosetta Stone a little bit, but then a level one or a level two would be to really work my phrases um, and all that stuff. I haven't done even level zero. I haven't been even doing Rosetta Stone once a week, forget once a day. So this is going to be an interesting experience. Uh, my leave and stuff is uh, confirmed. I'm definitely going in the month of August to live in that farm. 31st of July, precisely. And I'm going to vlog uh, the whole journey to what I feel like when I arrive. Do they really speak in Dutch to me? Am I, only, am I ever going to get to the other side of speaking Dutch fluently? But yeah, I think I'm taking on too much on my plate. Doing Dutch in the month of August and September doing an intensive French course. What do you guys think? What would you do if you were at my place? Today I've had a headache. I took a tablet. It's still not gone. I think I have a bad dependence on uh, on coffee and, and caffeine. But in other news, I have these other shoes which don't have that asymmetry issue and they feel extremely comfortable. They're not as clean as I'd like them to be, but they're uh, 
you're neat. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. My train is here. Such precise timing. Good night. Si vraiment, euh, je me demande si la, la pharmacie monge à Pigalle, enfin, place d'Anvers, je crois qu'elle est, est ouverte tard. Ok. Peut-être si vous avez vraiment besoin, je pense que vous pouvez y aller. Moi, je dis qu'elle est ouverte. Ouais, mais à plus, c'est loin. Je crois qu'elle je crois qu'elle ferme tard là sur la place d'Anvers. Ok. Je pourrais consommer quelque chose Bien sûr, bien sûr. Euh, je vous prends une canette s'il vous plaît. Vous voulez pas euh, Lipton. Ah, S'il vous plaît.